I'm going to go ahead then and show something here, something fun, if you guys want. That would be cool. I did a video, and let's just jump over to the blog for a moment. I think it was one of the recent ones for the cool, fun, new video scribe stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this run again. I got this idea from a lady named Sally Hogshead. She uh, does some video stuff. And I think I just found it on YouTube. And it's really just this interesting little opener. So let me just roll that again, see if you guys can see it. It's real quick. Cheap. So it's this little uh, effect where the brackets start off together, and then they open to kind of reveal, you know, whatever my video title is. So I saw what she did, and I just kind of hacked one out in PowerPoint here. So what I did was I put together a little slide, and if I go into slideshow mode, see, so now, let me run that uh, again, and you guys can tell me if you can kind of see this as it comes across. It starts off blank, and then boop, the brackets appear, and open up, and then whatever the title for the video is here, and then it kind of zooms off. Okay, so um, like I said, I just whipped it out in PowerPoint. And if we go to the animation pane here, the animation tab and then the animation pane, uh, what we'll see is that it's just kind of a couple of different elements. And what I thought I would do is put this out as just like one of those little template toolkit thingies that I like to do for folks, but I'm going to kind of show you how to modify such a thing. So you'll notice that there are several different elements here. We have some brackets, uh, a right bracket, a left bracket, and then a, a, a motion path for each of the brackets, like we talked about just a little bit ago. Um, but I kind of just preset it all up. But here's kind of one of the problems is that, well, what if I want to modify this text right here, OK? And you know, so I would do such a thing. But what if it's like longer, a longer word or a longer phrase, and the brackets don't go far enough? Well, one thing that we could do then is certainly modify this text, and you know, make it as uh, long, a little bit longer if I wanna. Okay. Uh, but what, what's going to happen then if I preview play that, see how the brackets kind of don't make it far enough. So in order to kind of work with that, you might have to stretch out your motion path here a little bit. So now that one goes far enough. And what you'll find is that since it's an ending for this character, this, this bracket character, you can't just like do it right to the end. See where my arrow ends at the end of the text? Because you have to understand that there is thickness to this uh, bracket character. So it's really easy to eyeball. You just go a little bit further beyond whatever your text is. So I didn't want to make it very complicated to, you know, to really even modify pretty seriously here if you want. So now if we play it, yep, see? And uh, the other tip for this kind of a thing is anytime you have elements that are kind of stacked on top of each other, see, I'm clicking right now. And if I want to modify this text, well, yeah, I can kind of get here, and I can kind of get here. But what you'll notice is that sometimes elements, like these brackets, I, I just can't get to them, right? And that's where one of the tools for doing animation in PowerPoint comes in handy. And what it is, is you go to the Format tab, and it's called the Selection Pane. So when I click that button, notice that now I, I see the three elements that are stacked up on top of each other here. Okay, I have a text box, I have a right bracket, and I have a left bracket. So if I turn off the little I, uh, for the text box, now I just have the brackets here to deal with. So if I wanted to change the color, 
you know, now I could certainly do such a thing. Change the color of the left bracket. Click on the right here. Change the color of the right bracket. Turn my text box back on. And now life is good. Life is easy. Animation life is now easy uh, because I can get to all of the elements. If you don't know about the selection pane, trying to do animations like this is a nightmare. It's just a nightmare. And trying to modify things is an equal nightmare. So this way, uh, you can look at each individual thing on the screen. And when you want to get to something that's kind of buried, the text box here is basically on top of uh, the brackets. Uh, moving the brackets on top of the text box doesn't necessarily help because then you won't be able to possibly select the text underneath, though. So uh, when stuff's on top of each other, being able to turn things off and then manipulate individual elements is like the bomb. Okay, Don't forget to turn them back on. But now I have a cool little... Ring opening animation. See, it's simple, it's clean, and this is the kind of thing I want you guys to do or to think about. Being simple, being clean, and not, you know, a whole bunch of whirling, spinning necessarily stuff. This is eye-catching, and it's fast. You don't want to spend 20 seconds of your video necessarily rolling one of the cool video background animation thingies. Nobody cares about any of that crap, right? You have about four seconds where someone will say, oh, that's kind of cool. And then after two, three, four seconds, then it's like, all right, let's get on with it already. You know, so I really want people to, to stay clean, stay focused, focus, concentrate power, stuff like that. Uh, but I'll go ahead and put this link out under the replay so you guys can grab it and make your own cool little uh, intro like right here. Mm.